Welcome, everyone, to Logan, Utah and the Beehive State. We're here at Maverick Stadium, home to the Utah State Aggies and eager for this clash. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the San Diego State Aztecs taking on the Utah State Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Utah, he was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Aztecs offense takes the field for the first time today. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got him. Pulls it in on the right. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. You go with the first snap of the game, and you make a big play like that, your confidence just soars. And I don't know if the defense was sleepwalking here, Reese, but it's almost as if they didn't know the game had actually started. They were just kind of lethargic in the back end. I don't think they were anticipating this offense taking a shot on the first play. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Wolf. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. Quick completion on the out. And he's down right there. Picked up a few, but still some work to do to get a first down. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. Looking to throw it again. He's got his man. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And the Aztecs want to pick up the tempo. Play action on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Trying play action. Looking left. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. The Aztecs come to the line with a new set of downs. Back to throw. It's O'Neal. Gets it out fast. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are first and goal. Quickly complete. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. 
Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. They'll try to dial up a better one this time on second and goal from the five. Grab behind the line. It's Brown. Touchdown, Aztecs! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Utah State's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Utah State, up-tempo. He'll do it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You got to have real loose hips. You got to be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for room, it's Cooper. Wrestled down at the 43 after getting five. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Completion to the right. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. One of the nice things about RPOs is that it's a slow developing mesh between the QB and running back, and that allows these receivers time to get vertically downfield and work their routes. You saw it right there on that play. And the Aztecs have it with a first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. 
Touchdown, San Diego State. What a catch and run for six. And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the points come on a pass from 39 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Utah State up-tempo. Off the play fake. Gets it out quickly. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. After that completion, move the chains. Now first down. He wants to throw. Flips it out to the back. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. And you just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. And here comes the offense on second down. They go to the ground. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure's there and he lets it go. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. To the air, it's O'Neal. Quickly to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. The Aztecs racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll pull it on the read. Tackle is made after the first down. And I just love having a decisive quarterback. Like, 
Give him options, but he makes a decision, sticks his foot in the ground, says, I'm going to get the first down, and he gets it. And the Aztecs will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his man. It's Brown. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Man, how about the first half this guy's having? He already has two touchdowns, picks up a huge first down right here. On defense, you're going to have to find a way to control this guy. You're going to have to make some big-time adjustments at halftime. The Aztecs are moving quickly down the field. Quick release by the QB. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. From the 22 on first and 10. Handoff from the gun. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, one of the reasons this offense likes the option game with the quarterback is to use his speed and try to attack the perimeter of the field. The defense, though, not having any of it. You saw the contain on the play, forcing him back in the middle of the field, and they're able to corral him for a huge loss. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! I can hear the defensive coordinator in the next booth yelling, Wrap up! You have to wrap up! Bring your feet. Four points of contact. You hear all those stuff from your defensive coaches. But you know what? Sometimes the guy's just better than you. He makes a play and gets in the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. They took it 64 yards right down the field, and they finished it off with a 17-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Smashes through the tackle. This guy is so dangerous. The excellent vision to find a lane and get it out and set up the offense with good field position. Off the play fake on first down. They'll get him down at the 48 after the 15-yard gain. Utah State, up-tempo. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he's looking downfield. Got his man out of the backfield. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. 
And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 42 to move the sticks. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got him downfield. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Quarterbacks are just like anybody else. They get in rhythms. And to get in a rhythm early on third down and have a little success here and get the sticks moving, great chance to continue to get this offense moving down the field to get some more points. And the Aggies are moving quickly down the field. Movement here from the tight end. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Coming after him. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. Well, they try to go quarterback designed run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. He's got it. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. That'll do it for the quarter, guys. And San Diego State is on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. And we'll start the second quarter as they try to hang up a three spot. And it's right down the boulevard. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Dances away from the heat. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Now on first down from the 30. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Still running at the 40. And he's brought down after a nice game. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. Offensive coordinators just spend all offseason in a lab, and they just draw up stuff over and over again. How many times can I use misdirection? How many times can I use speed against the linebackers who flow so fast to the football? Really nice play design, a little misdirection. The defense didn't know what hit them. Big game for the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run.
Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Here's the handoff. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. And the Aztecs have it with a first and ten. Give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. The give to the back. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with a pickup of four. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. Looking downfield, it's O'Neal. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. He got it. And now the lead is even bigger. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. There's space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Got his man quickly. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come pounce on that screen and get the tackle for a loss. The Aggies moving quickly to the line. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll go to the ground. 
And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. I love the job the quarterback does surveying the defense there. Great job pre-snap recognition, understanding the coverage. He goes to his curl route, gets the completion, and picks up the first. Going up top on first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. From the gun, give on the inside. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Simple call, excellent execution, moves the sticks on third down. These QBs and receivers, man, they run this route in practice thousands of times. So it's nice to see them come out here and execute it in game conditions. Great job with the timing. Great job with the depth and the route. Nice work between those two. Trying to find his man on first down. Finds his big tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. And he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Utah State, up-tempo. On second down, they'll take to the air. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. I know it was incomplete, but I'm okay with it. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm going to keep taking shots down the field. I'm going to make him honor that deep ball. I'll hit some of those before the game's over. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. to throw that one in there. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, it's third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Six. Tries again to get it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Utah State. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. Nice move to keep running. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Man, that is so tough. When you play defense, you get your eyes on your keys and you got to read them, but sometimes they lie to you. You could see the little misdirection by this offense. Fooled the defense, created some space. The offense took advantage and made a huge play. The Aztecs headed quickly to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fade. Getting some heat. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. And off from the shotgun. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And the Aztecs will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin him deep. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They cut into the deficit the last time they had it, forced the punt, and now they can really make this a game. And you're right back in this thing. You're creating some momentum. You got the score. You got the stop. This offense, Jesse, has a chance now to make this an absolute barn burner of a ball game. Yeah, it's one play at a time, though, right? You're not going to get it all back in one play. Just go out, do your job, execute, keep this thing going down the field. And if things go well, like David said, we've got a game. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. And it's not a decision time. You're going for this. You're near midfield. Sometimes those punts will go in the back of the end zone. You're going to net like 25, 30 yards at the most. No, no, no. Get the big boy pads on. Strap the extra mouthpiece. Let's go get the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. On the run, it's Cooper. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. The Aztecs want to crank the tempo. He'll keep it himself. 
Oh, the ball's on the ground. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Scanning the field, it's O'Neal. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Cooper. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. And the Aztecs getting set on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Wolf. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. The offense will quickly use the timeout. And here comes play number six of the drive. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. This offense has put on a display in the first half, and they have a chance to tack another one on before the... Touchdown, San Diego State! And they take it in for six more points. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So they was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. He's going for it all. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Utah State. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're now down 31-17. 
If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Here's the return from inside his tent. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking for room, it's Cooper. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Logan so far. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to our broadcast team at Maverick Stadium. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And that was incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time, the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. Utah State up tempo. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Wants to throw on first down. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. They'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and 10 from the 31. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Wide open downfield. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. And you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. This Utah State offense has it going. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the defense gets to the quarterback. In the second half, trailing the way they are, they know they're going to have to be able to throw the football to get back into it. But you can't accomplish that if you can't keep your quarterback standing upright. Give the defense tons of credit getting that sack on third down. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. 
And nice job by the defense. A draw is kind of a trick, you know, get you to run upfield, but they sniffed it out, did a great job, stopped the play for no gain. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. He lost it high and deep down the left side. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Aggies! You thought they were done. They're not. They're back, baby. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing them go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy. I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch. And he does it in a big moment here in this game. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point draws them closer. It's 31-24. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes with the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's open on the right. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. The Aztecs want to move quickly. To the air, it's O'Neal. He lets one fly deep. He's got it inside the 25. And he's brought down after a huge completion. I love when you back the defense off of you. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more conservative, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. They keep count of their number of explosive plays, and that last one has them set up first and 10 at the 19. Reads it, fires complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Looking for a gap. It's Cooper. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. And the Aztecs are threatening on first and goal. He'll set up to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've inched closer and closer and still two yards to go for the touchdown here on third down. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Aztecs! 
This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They marched 78 yards down the field and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. He's got great speed. He's got an alley. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Aggie. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space? Great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you could see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. Lining up to add another. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So a dynamite play there, 99 yards. He took it back for the touchdown. They're just about to boot it away full of energy after housing that last kickoff. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Makes the grab over the middle. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The Aztecs in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the grab down the middle. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Looking to throw, it's O'Neal. Going to take a shot at this DB. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And the Aztecs have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. They're bringing heat. He finds his man. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Man, this quarterback has been dialed in all game long. He's making outstanding decisions, and he's been so accurate throwing the football. He's now got over 350 passing yards. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. The give to the back. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. It's complete. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. 
Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know. And he's got it. Touchdown, San Diego State. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead way ahead i mean it's been it's been really really easy i better get some more hits on him i better do something to make him feel uncomfortable because right now it's just like oh you're running that yeah that's easy i mean he's, he's already read your mail you, you better change the address do something different lining up to tack one more onto that lead and the extra point pushes the lead to 14. He marched 78 yards down the field, and it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he's coming out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. And the Aggies are in the hurry up. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And that's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. Fourth time tonight, we've seen this guy come on to punt. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. To the air on first down. He lobs one high down the left side. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. And he will step out of bounds, but what a play to get the ball back for his offense. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. There's nothing better than being a defensive lineman in a defense period that pressure the quarterback, that gets hits on him, that make him feel uncomfortable, especially when you come into their building and you get everybody really, really quiet. That's a great feeling. Third down play from the gun. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. That was a really well-run route on the curl to pick up the first down. Yeah, and it's a nice job, too, by the receiver, getting his depth and then finding space in between the defenders, giving his quarterback a nice target. 
Utah State comes to the line with a first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. On second down, he'll let it fly. He's right on target. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Utah State, up-tempo. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Shoots it to the left. Complete in the middle. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range. But now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field, when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly. Throw to the end zone. Picked off. And he's brought down. And this defense gets the ball back for its own. And you don't see this very often. The big defensive linemen. You see these guys rush the quarterback most of the time. But how confusing is it, Palmer, when it looks like they're rushing, they drop in coverage and make the big interception? Well, I don't think that quarterback thought he could even make the play. How about the eye-hand coordination and his ability to snatch the football out of the air. I mean, that was crazy athleticism, well deserved. That's going to make the uh, the highlight reel for sure. Going to run it. It's Cooper. At the 15, he's loose. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. What a run, man. I tell you what, it's hard to pop runs. It's hard to get three, four, five, six yards a lot of times. But when you've got backs like this who can make huge plays with the speed, getting out in the open field, can take it the distance on every play, defenses are scared out of their mind. Off play action on first down. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. He's being a little reckless with that football. Threw the interception last time and almost threw another one here. Golly, that's best back-to-back -back drives. You've got to have your quarterback making smart decisions. You can't turn the football over. He's got to get those cobwebs out of his head and start dialing it in. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. On the ground, going for the first down with the give to the tight end. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I got to tell you, I'm impressed with the stable of backs and the weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The Aztecs come to the line in the hurry up. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Got his man downfield. 
And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. Looking to throw, it's O'Neal. He'll throw it. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Oh, man, you don't see many of those anymore. Nowadays, the gloves are so good, the hands are so good. You don't see a lot of drop passes. Missed opportunity there for the receiver. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Takes the handoff. It's Cooper. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Got it set up on the outside. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. And to open the fourth quarter, they'll start with a field goal attempt. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They keep all down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's, that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here. Trust your reads. Trust what your coaches have told you to do and just go out and execute the offense. Utah State, up tempo. They'll run it from the gun. Knocked down at the 31 after a game of five. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll ride the hot hand. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. There's just so much for this defense to think about right now. They've had strong side runs thrown at them. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. They'll put the tight end in motion. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. What a snag by the defense. Got some room to run. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. 
Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They feed him again. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. And the route is on. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. By any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Finds his tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Well, and here's the problem offensively, because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. He's back to throw on second down. And that one's too high and too wide, out of bounds and incomplete. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Quick strike complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. He'll just keep slinging it, trying to get to it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about down by multiple possessions you can't come up empty on this drive they'll go for it on fourth down got his man and they'll move the chains and get it to the 47 yard line 
I love the aggressive nature offensively there. It's fourth down, and you're going to try and go for it. And you have so much confidence in your quarterback to be able to make that play, come up with a good throw, keep the drive alive. The Aggies have their offense in high gear. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. After the incompletion, they go back up top. This time it's complete. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Awesome body control and great job, too, knowing where he is on the field to make sure he got his feet down in bounds. At this point, this guy's been open all over the field. And if I'm the QB, man, I keep throwing him the ball. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? Got it in the middle. It's Paige. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. And the Aggies will snap it on first and 10. He wants to throw. Makes the grab. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. QB now has over 400 yards passing, guys, and you got to give everybody else in his supporting cast a ton of credit. Receivers, great job running routes, catching the football, and this offensive line has been outstanding, giving him time to throw. On first and goal, let's see what Utah State calls. They move the tight end all over. He'll do it himself. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Yeah, and a great job by the defense, holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quarterback keeps it. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And you could tell the QB wants to run. He's going to be a big part of the game plan. And the defense really, really understands that. I got to understand. And more importantly, when I get a lick on this cat, I got to take it. Like, not dirty, not cheap shots, but end of the plays, when I can be physical and really make him feel. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. The snap sets up the throw. He's got it, so they convert the two and keep just a flicker of hope alive down two possessions. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And here's the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Got room at the 35. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches. And this running back and his ability to break tackles, that is just so demoralizing for this defense. Using the quick game. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. 
He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all of the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. He wants to go deep. He's got it. Touchdown, San Diego State. And the stomping has commenced. The assault enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the capper coming on that four. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing, you've got guys swiping at it. You've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. First down here for the offense. Power football with the run. Touchdown, Aztecs! And the pummeling has started. Hey, Reese, that's three for the young fella. I mean, this dude's smelling the end zone. Anytime he gets near it, you know he's going to lower his shoulder, do whatever it takes to get in the end zone. The hat trick, the third touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck the man as no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Comes out throwing on first down back open in the middle let's see what they've got on second down he's looking to throw got the quick pass He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, let that thing rip. How about this guy? Almost 450 yards on the day. He's been throwing it early. He's been throwing it often. He's been throwing it all over the yard and with a lot of success. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. Working that left side now. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Video game type numbers now for this QB. He has been virtually unstoppable, and you know the Heisman voters are taking account of what he has done here in this game. He's got over 450 passing yards now. Looking to throw it again. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. Utah State comes to the line with a first and 10. 
He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Utah State. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. On to attempt the try. Bangs it through for an extra point. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over. But they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the tailback. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Third and short here from the 35. Might take a shot here if this is four down territory. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Off he goes. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. And the Aztecs have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, San Diego State! And the beatdown has ensued. And at this point, they're just rubbing their noses in it. There's nothing positive to be able to take away from this. You got beat down, you move on to the next game, start working on the next opponent, this one's over. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. It's complete to the left. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down and balance. On second down, wants to throw. Lost one deep down the right side. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. It'll be third and short from their own 33. 
They'll try to get it through the air. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. First down here for the offense. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for space. It's Cooper. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. Ball's at the 27, it's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. They'll try the run. Tough, hard-nosed run. He picks up three, but stopped just short. It'll be fourth and one. This kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. It's good. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Going up top on first down. Spits it out to the back. He's got it. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision-making, the athleticism. Snags it at the 30 and still running. There he goes to the right. I'm sorry, you're unlikely to win today, but here's a fabulous party. A late touchdown. You want something to be able to feel positive about after this game, and maybe that late touchdown will do it. And Reese, I'm positive that that stat counts on my stat line. Keep playing. Keep piling up those stats. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're just about ready to kick it away.
on the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Final minute. This game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're going to be tough to contend with. Yeah, I mean, they got firepower. Putting up so many points. This thing is easily over. Now they can just chillax, go back to the locker room, know they're going to get the victory. Give to the single back. And he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Clock is all zeros, and time has expired here.